As Muslims all over the world face Qibla for prayers, so do all schools focus on Qibla schools to emulate beautiful innovations. Our nursery and primary schools enjoy good teaching aid facilities as our team of qualified and committed teachers leave no stone unturned, ranging from academics to moral and religious teachings. Qibla High School as well is a place to be with spacious playground, very conducive learning environment, library, ICT and indoor games rooms and not only well stocked but also equipped with state of the earth facilities. Our students perform brilliantly well at all external examinations as well as various core and extracurricular activities. Kibla schools comprising of preparatory and high schools is at plot two to five Ibado Southwest Multipurpose Scheme at Lesh Lawyer Ibadon. Telephone 0805-272-5253 or 0803-313-2027. Kibla schools we set the pace. إن الحمد لله نحمده ونشكره ونستعينه ونعوذ به من شرور أنفسنا وسيئات أعمالنا من يهد الله فلا مضل له ومن يهد فلا هادي له شر الله إلى إلى الله وحده لا شريك له وشر أن محمد عبده ورسوله ثم الصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى عاله وأصحابه وتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعض Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh All praise and adoration is due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala The Lord of incomparable majesty Who out of his infinite mercy Has spared our lives From the last Ramadan Up to this moment We thank Allah, we glorify his name We celebrate his praise Because many were wounded with weak Many were wounded we fasted the month of Ramadan, the Ijra 1442. But now that we are in Ijra 1443, they have answered the inevitable call of Allah Taala. Many are no longer alive. Many are being hospitalized for a very long time. But as Allah wills, we are able, we are agile, we are in the correct state of health and we are still living happily to witness this year Ramadan. So we have every cause to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We thank him, we appreciate him. Because it is not by our power, not by our might, even not by our wisdom, but by the special rama of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for making us to witness this Ijra 1443 Ramadan. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to allow us to witness the end of Ramadan and beyond. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us aright to be able to make use of this opportunity to attain his mercy because this is the month of mercy. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us aright to the act of Ibadah that will fetch us his forgiveness. We beseech Allah's blessing on the noblest of mankind Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, his household, his companions, and the jihad of Muslims till the day of accountability. You are welcome to your favorite program, Message from Kibla, sponsored by Kibla Schools, Alesh Loye Ibadah. This episode of Message from Kibla shall be based on the title called Ramadan, the month of mercy. All of us we need to acknowledge the fact that the month of Ramadan, there's no doubt about it, is a month of mercy. Because Allah, the most merciful, bestows his mercy unrestrictedly upon his slaves in this month of mercy. And why is it that this month of Ramadan is a month of mercy? There are several factors that can attest to the fact that the month of Ramadan is undoubtedly 
the Mount of Mercy. It's a special Mount. It's full of mercy of Allah that are unprecedented. Those mercies that cannot be found in any other Mount except in this Mount of Ramadan. The first thing I would like to direct our attention to is the spiritual development in this month of Ramadan. Because it is very convenient and easy for many Muslims to attain higher level of piety in this month of Ramadan. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made all kind of righteousness convenient and easy for his slaves to engage in in this glorious month of Ramadan. And this is a mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And even if you look at Quran in the higher where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving us divine ordain on fasting in the month of Ramadan, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives divine order in Surah Al-Baqarah, that is Quran chapter 2 verse 183, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, But I'll be lying in the shaitan regime. Ya ayu Allah bihina amanu kutiba alaykum osiyam. Kama kutiba ala Allah bihina mihu kobeni kum la ala kum tatakul. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Oh, you believe. Fasting is prescribed to you as it was prescribed to those before you. So that you can learn self-restraint. Allah SWT says, So that you can learn self-restraint, so that you can attain piety, so that you can be pious, so that you can be fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in all ramifications. So if you look at the purpose of fasting as contained in this higher, is to attain spiritual development, is to attain piety. So it means in the month of Ramadan, we Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made fasting compulsory. Everyone that fasted in this month of Ramadan, there is likelihood that such people will attain spiritual development, will attain a level of, a, of piety, which may not be easily attained in other months except in the month of Ramadan. Because when you train your soul, with hunger, then there is likelihood for that soul to turn into Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in repentance, to turn into Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by considering other human beings around him with all forms of goodness that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has provided him with. And that is number one. Then number two is the achievement of unrestricted blessing in this month of Ramadan. So it is in the month of Ramadan that we have it in record that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opens all the doors to paradise and close all the doors to the hell fire and that is a mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this is not done in any month except in the month of Ramadan and the implication of this is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is willing to forgive his slave Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is willing to bestow his unrestricted blessing, unrestricted mercy upon his slaves in the month of Ramadan. And that is why we have it in an abyss, uh, reported by Imam Bukhari, a Muslim, on the authority of Abu Huraira, where the Prophet was willing to have said that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was willing to have said, when the month of Ramadan comes, when the month of Ramadan begins, when it commences, Futiat Abu Abu Sama, in other narration, Futiat Abu Abu Jannah, that all the doors to paradise will be open. The implication of that is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be ready to favor his slave, will be ready to forgive his slave, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be ready to shower his blessing and mercy upon his righteous slaves in that month of Ramadan. That is why all the doors to paradise will be opened. And all the doors to al fire will be closed. And the shaitan 
the evils will be chained, will be uncovered, reported by Bukhari and Muslim. So this happens only in the month of Ramadan. There is no any record that it happens in other months except in the month of Ramadan. And that is telling us how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is most merciful unto his slaves in the month of Ramadan. And thirdly, is the attainment of unlimited Allah's forgiveness and pardon. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives his slaves in the month of Ramadan unrestrictedly. Because fasting in the month of Ramadan alone is enough for one to achieve forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because we have this in Hadith, Hadith Sahih, there is an authentic Hadith reported on the authority of Abu Huraira that Man Sama Ramadan Iman wa Ahtisaban Gufallahu Man Taqadami Dambihi. Rabbu Bukhari wa Ibn Majah. That whoever fasted in the month of Ramadan with sincere faith and hoping for a reward, Gufallahu Man Taqadami Dambihi. All his previous sins will be expiated. All his sins will be forgiven for him by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So meaning that the attainment of forgiveness of Allah on our previous sins is certain in the month of Ramadan if we can actually fast in this month the way it is expected to be. Then the fourth one is the availability of a powerful night. So in the month of Ramadan there is a night that is better than a thousand months. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala communicates this to us in Quran chapter 97 verse 3. And that night is not is termed Laylatul Qadr. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Laylatul Qadr qayrun min alf shahab. That the night of Qadr, the night of majesty, the night of decree is better than a thousand months. So meaning that any act of ibadah carried out on this night will be better than the like of it carried out in a thousand months. And that is 83 years, four months. We can see how merciful Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is unto us in the month of Ramadan. And the fifth one is the freedom from hellfire. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala delivers his slave from hellfire in the month of Ramadan. And that happens every night in the month of Ramadan. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us on the tongue of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that when Ramadan comes in, so feed that the shayateen, the evils are changed and the devilish genes, they are uncovered, they are confined. The doors to hellfire are closed. None of the doors will be open. And the door to Jannah, all the doors to Jannah will be open, and none of it will be closed. And an announcer will be announcing, Ya Babi Aya Khaira Akbe, O you that you want to surpass in meritorious deeds. Come around, this is time for you. Why about the Shara Axel? And those of you that you are evil doers, be cautioned. Why the light take home in a nap? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will free his slave, will free his slave from hellfire, will deliver his slave from hellfire every night in the month of Ramadan. So if anybody is delivered from hellfire, then for sure that person is going to be in Jannah. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us uh, one of the inhabitants of our Jannah. All our good deeds, all our fasting in this month of Ramadan, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept it as a perfect act of worship, the school from which the message is coming. We pray that may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to keep the flag of the school flying higher and higher. Tomorrow we shall be meeting again. I'm your brother in Islam, Rashid Musa. Assalamu alaikum wa ila liqa. Talking of schools with clear vision and mission, Kibla schools maintain a comfortable lead. With the variety stuff for all ages, children don't miss home. Our teachers are dedicated, caring, and hardworking, and that's why we stand out among our equals. Kibla schools is situated in a serene environment with well ventilated classrooms, standard laboratory, fully stocked library, and ICT room. School bus are praised to move students to and fro with 
what? Another facility, Sudan. To develop an Oran student. The fear of God is not left behind as we are not only taught the word of God, but also made to practice under the supervision of our well informed Malam. Situated at plot 2 to 5 Ibadan, Southwest Local Government Multi Purpose Scheme, Alesh Lawyer Ibadan. Telephone 0805 272 5253. 0803 313 2027. Let's go! Learning with direction!